Hello and thank you again for watching my videos. I'm sure most of you already know this, but I always want to point out for the best quality, click on that little cog wheel that says HD and always make sure that the quality is in 1080p HD. A lot of times it'll be in auto, which should automatically put it there, but just in case it isn't, you can obviously scroll up here and click that right there. And that'll give you the best quality of the video that you're watching. Uh, many times if you subscribe and get alert that I've uploaded a video and you watch it, the quality won't be good. It won't be as good yet. It's still in standard definition. Uh, that's because it's still processing. The HD version is still processing. Just wait a few more uh, minutes, hours, and it should upload to HD eventually. Uh, that's pretty much all I have. I think most of you already know this, but like I said, it never hurts to just double check and make sure uh, you're aware of this. And one more little hint that YouTube will give you is you can always play any part of the video in super slow motion or fast forward motion. That's the playback speed. Obviously, I keep it normal right now, but you can, you know, slow down, fast forward any other play or part of the video you want to look at. So I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get to your video. Again, thank you for subscribing and watching. Good afternoon and welcome to Bunnell High School in Stratford, Connecticut on Saturday afternoon, June 17th, 2023. It is week one of semi-professional football in the East Coast Football League. A couple of first year teams joining the East Coast Football League will be the Rhode Island Raptors moving over from the New England Football League versus the Tri-State Bruins who just wrapped up the spring season in the East Coast Football League. So the Rhode Island Raptors versus Tri-State Bruins. Week one, game one for both teams. If you're watching on YouTube, give a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. I'll do my best not to miss any action. Kickoff is moments away, 2 p.m. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get out there. Rhode Island Raptors versus Tri-State Bruins. That game is coming up next.
Rhode Island Raptors recover the fumble, the loss of one, second down and 11. Pass falls incomplete, bring up third down, third and 11. Illegal formation on the offense. We're waiting to see if it's going to be accepted or not. It is, so it'll be second down and 16 instead of third and 11. Going to be intercepted by number zero of the Bruins. Get off, yo! 
Big time hit right there. Picked up a first down though.
you mad at people to start bringing just, I guess you just, just hold the umbrella above it. No, it's not this that I'm worried about. It's this. Stop, Loose ball. Recovered by number 21 of the Bruins. Recovered, I believe, by Jones. False start on the offense, first and 15. Another false start on the offense will be first down and 20. Looks like he ran into his own his own teammate. Oh, 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 oh. 
It is third down and a country mile to go. The Tri-State Bruins are going in the wrong direction here. Holding on the offense, it's declined, so fourth down and long coming up for Tri-State. So we got third down at about 10. And playing for the Tri-State Bruins in the secondary, there is Dwayne Debop Bop Tings Martin Jr. Huge factor for the Bruins on defense. Debop. Big. Third down carry for a first down by number four for the Raptors. Juju. Juju on the carry. Big 
That's the end of the first quarter. We got no score. Flag is down. Holding on the offense. A 22 yard touchdown pass for number 14. Can't really see what number that is. Number nine, it looks like, for the Raptors. Dawson or Dawkin. Dokin. So the touchdown counts after the play. There's unsportsmanlike conduct on number nine who caught the touchdown pass. That penalty will be assessed on the kickoff. Kick is no good, so the Rhode Island Raptors lead the Tri-State Bruins 6-0, second quarter. Okay, with the penalty, the Raptors will be kicking off from their own 20-yard line. Pretty good kickoff.
After the play, there was a personal foul on the defense. 15 yards, automatic first down for the Bruins. Timeout called by the Bruins. Nice return by Jones of the Raptors. Jones. Do you want to fight? What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? We don't want to play a what? We don't book it. Let's go. Get the fuck out. Do you want to play? I don't know. I don't know. Wake the fuck up. Wake up. I don't know. 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 Oh, we're on the floor, man, right now! 
Holding on the offense. Holding on number 65, Alvarez. Replay, replay third, is third down? Replay second down. The official just signaled two minutes, two minutes until halftime, two minute warning. Foley is sacked by number seven of the Bruins, Bailey. Bailey with the sack of Foley. And the Raptors call timeout. Fourth down coming up, fourth and very long. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Well, Raptors are going for it, looks like. Unless they're going to do a little pooch punt. It's going to fall incomplete. Should be a turnover on downs. The Bruins taking over right around midfield. Just under two minutes left to go before halftime. Raptors continue to lead six to nothing. Number 59 and number 6 and then in on the sack for the Raptors. Varela. Bruins, Bruins call timeout. That's their final timeout. I believe I heard the official say there's 10 seconds left in the half, so the Bruins might be going for a Hail Mary here. Should be the final play of the half. It is. Cover that ball, Matt. Oh, pass. I'll be back. All right, we've reached halftime. Rhode Island Raptors six. Tri State Bruins zero. Not what 
The wind has really picked up. Very heavy wind right now to start the second half. I'm not sure what the heck just happened there. But no whistle, looks like a clean play. Looks like it's third down in about two or three. Bobbled snap and he, a sack for number 28 of the Raptors. this punt because the wind is now a huge factor it is blowing very hard right now you can probably hear it you can probably barely hear my voice on the camera that's a very bad snap it if his knee is down he's down but either way it's going to be a big turnover on downs and the Raptors are going to have excellent field position in Bruins territory. You can see they're taking down the covering here because the wind is blowing so hard on the Bruins sideline. Looks like it's on the 12-yard line, maybe. It's Juju on the carry. <laughs> Touchdown run by number 21.
and moolah. Raptors going for the extra point. Looks like it's wide right. No good. So it's 12 nothing Rap Raptors. Accepted by Palmer, but it's incomplete. Second down and ten coming up. Nice catch and run after the catch by number eight, Oliver. <laughs> Looks like he lost the ball at the end of that run. Let's see if they're going to roll it a fumble. It is. Recovered by number eight for the Raptors. And the rain is really starting to come down very hard right now. It is wet, it is raining hard, and it is windy. Welcome to opening day, week one of semi-professional football in the East Coast Football League, Summer League. Nothing like a flash storm, rainstorm, rain and wind storm. Reverse field, got a big block there on the left. He runs out of bounds. I think that's the quarterback, Matt. No, who is that? Diaz? Sorry, Diaz. The quarterback is number five, Matt Bethia. Or Bethia. I don't know if that's the same guy or not. Looks like I missed a penalty on that play. It was against the offense, so the Raptors are backed up. Looks like to their own 11-yard line. Rain has slowed down for the time being. 
High snap. That could be trouble. Safety is better than a touchdown. It should be a safety. And it is. So the Tri-State Bruins are on the board. It's now 12 to two. And honestly, the Raptors did a good job there to avoid giving up a touchdown and just take the two points. That's the bad news, but the good news for the Bruins is they'll get the ball back with a little bit of momentum here in the third quarter, trailing by 10 points. Kinds of flags being thrown now. Rain is picking up a little bit once again. Let's see how the officials sort out this uh, sort out all this laundry on the field. I think I heard this unsportsmanlike conduct was called. I don't know if it's on both teams. I think he said 88 white. Maybe not. I don't know. Definitely there's unsportsmanlike conduct being called. I'm not sure which team or if it's on both. Let's see where they spot the ball. That'll help this determine. They may be offsetting penalties, it looks like. So the Bruins will take over at their own 45 yard line, trailing by 10, 12 to 2. That's complete. That should be close to a first down if they give them forward progress to the 45. Matt Bethea to Oliver. Oh no, who's that quarterback? We got a new quarterback, looks like. Number 18 is in there now. We give us number 13, he's going nowhere. Oh, my God. 
That's a low throw, incomplete. No flags are down. Third down and long coming up. Fumbles the ball, and the Raptors recover. Number 11, it looks like. Cook. Not sure who had the big monster hit on the quarterback, but Cook recovers the fumble. And the Raptors will take over possession of the ball. Wow, big hit. Nice clean hit. Number nine for the Bruins. Kearney. And I gotta get a battery change done on this camera. I'm gonna try to get one more play in here. My battery is almost dead in the camera. I'm hoping to get this last play in. I hope it doesn't die on me in the middle of action. Twenty-one for the Bruins, tackles twenty-one for the Raptors. And I'm gonna take a quick break and change my camera battery. Alright, new camera has been installed. It's third down for the Raptors. Overthrown, incomplete, fourth down coming up. Looks like fourth down and about seven for the Raptors. Let's see what Sizzle Smith, coach Sizzle Smith, and the Tri State Bruins have in mind here. Sun starting to peak out of the clouds now. That is incomplete. It should be a turnover on downs. And that was the last play of the third quarter. End of the third quarter, one more quarter to go. The Rhode Island Raptors 12 and the Tri-State Bruins 2. One more quarter to 
play. We fourth quarter coming up. It's going to be tackled for a loss after the catch. Flores, Flores for the Raptors on the tackle. That was nearly intercepted by Juju. Third and ten coming up from their own 40, the Bruins' own 40-yard line. That's going to fall incomplete. Fourth and ten coming up. Timeout called by the Bruins. They'll talk this over. Time is running out though. The Bruins going for it on fourth down, unless it's going to be a pooch punt, but it's fourth and ten. Desperately got to get this first down. And that's going to be overthrown, out of bounds, incomplete. And a turnover on downs. The Raptors will take over at the Bruins 40 yard line. Leading 12 to 2. We are in the fourth quarter. That was a six yard gain, second down and four. He's going to lose a yard or two on that play. Hand off to Armstead. Third down and about six coming up, five or six. Looks like six, loss of two. Timeout called on the field by the Rhode Island Raptors. Their first timeout. That was a hard fought run by Mula. First down for the Raptors.
It's a 28 yard pitch run by Juju. Pitch to Juju, 28 yard touchdown run for the Raptors. And the score is now 18 to two. Raptors will once again try to make the extra point. That looks good, and it is good. So it's 19 to 2 for the Raptors. 19 to 2. And that's a three possession game now. Rhode Island Raptors lead 19 to 2. They lead by 17. And it's going to be very hard for the Bruins to come back now, being down by three scores, a three possession game. I don't know, did that go 10 yards? Well, they just called offside on the kicking team, so it's not going to be a Raptors ball. So after the offside penalty on the Raptors, they'll re-kick. A few yards back at their own 30 yard line. Flags are down. Wow. Personal foul chop block called on the offense so the Bruins will get backed up 15 yards. And I believe it'll be first down and 25. I'm sorry, make that second down? No, first down, I was right, all right. It's Matt Bethea scrambling, picks up a few yards. Takes a pretty big hit at the end of that play. But it's second down and long. The bubbles are blowing. Watch the setup, yo! 
The late Wingsoul false start on the offense. Replay second down. And down goes Matt Bethea. It's a sack by number eight. Tardox? Trying to see the back of his jersey. Tardox? Bruins continue to be moving backwards. It's third down in a mile. From their own 26 yard line. Bethia is intercepted. That's going to be a pick six for the Rhode Island Rap uh, Raptors. It's going to probably be on sports and like conduct call, but I don't think the Ra Raptors really care at this point. Trying to see who that is. He's getting mobbed by all his teammates. Number 30. Curtis Jr. I don't know how to look up his name. Well, let's see. So it's 25 to 2. That's Miguel Caridis or Caridis. Caridis. Miguel Caridis. Caridis. With the pick six for the Raptors, Miguel, C A R I D E S, Caridis, Caridis. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing or butchering your name. I don't, not doing it on purpose. Extra point is no good. Looks like it may have been wide left. It might be the end of the game. Looks like they're lining up. No, maybe, maybe not.
Miguel Carides Carides Jr. looks like Miguel Car Carides Carides Jr. And again, I apologize. I'm hope I mispronounced your name, Miguel. But Miguel with the pick six gives the Raptors a 25 to two lead. 25 to two. Two points for the Bruins came on a, a team tackle safety in the end zone. Short kick. And they go out of bounds. Saber is caught. The, the biggest offensive play of the game comes with the, in the end of the late in the fourth quarter here for the Bruins. I believe there's a timeout on the field. believe that was Aaron Jordan on the catch. Aaron Jordan, the catch for the uh, Bruins. False start on the offense. Another false start on the Bruins offense. First down and 20 coming up. Just falls incomplete. That is the end of the game. That was the last play of the game. And the Rhode Island Raptors move to 1 and 0. Oh. The Tri State Bruins fall to 0 oh and 1. Raptors win 25 to 2.
Yo, before anybody go anywhere, we need to clean the sideline, y'all. Oh, not even now. Oh, Tarbox. That's how. He, that's his name. Tarbox number eight. Okay, that will do it for me from Bunnell High School in Stratford, Connecticut on Saturday, June 17th, 2023. It is opening day in the summer semi-pro football league in the East Coast Football League Coast Conference. Two newcomers this year, the Rhode Island Raptors come over from the New England Football League uh, and they win 25-2 to over the Tri-State Bruins. Two teams playing their first season in the Summer League of the East Coast Football League. Rhode Island Raptors, 25. Tri-State Bruins, 2. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, give a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to see more games like this. Uh, otherwise, thank you again for watching. Have a great rest of your day and get home safely.